CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. Canada was back on the medal podium in London today. But a bronze in high jump is not what we were expecting. Certainly not on the day Victoria's Simon Whitfield was competing. But Simon's day and his Olympic dream ended today in a crumpled heap. He crashed during the cycling portion of the triathlon, injuring himself and withdrawing from the race. A disappointing end for him, to be sure, and for a hometown cheering him on. CTV's Jordan Cunningham has the story. I'm bashed and bruised. <laughs> I think I have a separated you know, separated AC and, uh, and a very large gash under my big toe. It's never happened to Simon Whitfield before, but it happened today at the worst possible time. I hit the speed bump at a funny angle and my foot came off the front of my the front of my shoe because um, I was standing on it and that sent me over the bars. Is that something that's ever even happened to you in training? Uh, no, I've come close, but I, I did it this time. His first instinct was to get back on the bike. I think I thought I could continue, and then I stood up, tried to stand up, and didn't. Uh, that was unsuccessful. And then I saw the state of my bike and realized that was just not going to happen. On Vancouver Island, friends and fans flocked to their TV screens in the early hours. At Habit Coffee in downtown Victoria, faces reflected a somber mood. While in Saanich, a gathering of young triathletes turned from celebration to a support group. They know, though, that Simon always lands on his feet. We all know him. We all train with him a bit. And, yeah, it's tough to see. We all look up to him quite a bit. So, yeah, it's not ideal, but we know he'll live to fight another day. And across the country, Simon's sister agrees. He'll get over it. He'll get over it and he'll go play in the park with his kids. He's a... Uh... He'll move on and be ready for whatever's next. So it'll just be an exciting part of his life. Whitfield's emotional embrace with his wife is a lasting image from these Olympics, and it's ironic that these games made the most headlines for Whitfield. He was named Canada's flag bearer and then called out teammate Paula Finley's support staff for mishandling her hip injury. And I'm not saying people should be fired. I'm just saying they should stand up and say, that's on me. Over four Olympics, Simon's gold and silver finishes make him Canada's most decorated triathlete ever, and with that comes perspective. Uh, I've had two incredible races at the Olympic Games. I've had an incredible experience. Uh, I've met incredible teammates, and I'm not going to dwell on this crash. Simon plans on taking in the rest of the games with his family, but then it's back home, and eventually back on the bike. Very fortunate to be living in Victoria with such great people, and uh, this won't be my last triathlon by any means. Um, it will probably be my last Olympic Games. Now, Jordan uh, Cunningham joins us live with more. Jordan, uh, what happens next for Simon? Uh, Hudson, Simon gets a tetanus injection and an x-ray on his collarbone tomorrow. And he says he's so appreciative of all the support coming from Vancouver Island. Uh, the race was actually won by Alistair Brownlee of Great Britain. Canadians Kyle Jones and Brent McMahon finished 25th and 27th. We'll have more Olympic news later in sports. Plus, the controversy surrounding yesterday's crushing soccer defeat. Even the Prime Minister is speaking out about that one. Yeah, there's uh, a lot to be asked about that. There FIFA is. is investigating now too, right? They are, and if you can believe it, Canadians are now on the hook for a suspension uh, for yesterday. So. Yeah, not, not investigating the officiating, just what was said about it. What was said after the game. Christine Sinclair, John Herdman, and uh, the rest of Team Canada will talk about that we'll later. Check with you in a while, George. Thank you. All right.